So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the best watch market update in the world. That's right. We're also going to be talking about a word that my manager, Kino, you know, my manager Kino showed me, and the word is spoofing. That's right. If you are a collector and you buy watches, you need to know what the word spoofing is about. All right. But before I get into all that, let's go into my magical intro. So gentlemen, I'm back and we're going to be talking about that word that I told you earlier, the word spoofing, you know, the word that Kino showed me, spoofing. You know, again, you know, this is this is a tactic that uh, Muppet Boiler Room Secondary Great Watch Market channels are using against you. You know, it's um, it's the market dealers trying to prop up the market because they way overpay for high pieces and are now watching them drop down faster than Bill Clinton's pants in Arkansas farmhouse in value. That's right. They're trying desperately to artificially manipulate prices. But I gotta tell you folks, the secondary gray watch market is dead, 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 dead. So that word is called spoofing. Look out for it. You know, they're just, you know, basically it's happening in your uh, watch groups and your WhatsApp groups and your text groups, you know, and all those social media platforms that you guys belong to, they're spoofing away, away on you guys. They're spoofing away, you know, they're just artificially manipulating prices. But the watch market, gentlemen, is dead. You know, I, I love watches, unbelievable. Like this watch that I have right here, this is a beautiful watch, you know, a beautiful watch but this watch is dropping down in prices, so be careful, all right? This one right here is dropping down in prices. So the word that Kino showed me, and he wanted me to share it with you guys, is called spoofing. So be in the lookout, okay? Be in the lookout for the word spoofing, because all those platforms that I mentioned to you are using it against all of you. If you are a watch collector and you buy watches, you better learn what the word spoofing is because they're onto you guys with that word, spoofing. They're spoofing your way with you guys, spoofing away. And the secondary gray watch market is dead. Anyway, let's go in now to my watch market update. So gentlemen, welcome back to the watch market update. So let's just get right into it. Our first watch is the Rolex Date Date White Gold with an olive green dial. Unbelievable looking watch. This beautiful watch is unbelievable. The reference number of that watch is the 228239 with a retail price of $41,500. You know, gentlemen, I told you two weeks ago that don't pay more than $38,500. I gotta tell you today, gentlemen, I mean, don't be lollipop suckers. You do whatever you want with your money, but the secondary great watch market is dead. Dead, dead. It's really, it's, a, it's fatality. The watch market is in fatality mode. That's right, fatality. Unbelievable, but true, fatality. And I'm gonna tell you today, don't pay, and I mean don't pay for that beautiful Rolex date date white gold with an olive green dial. Don't pay more than $36,000 in dropping. You do whatever you want, but the secondary gray watch market is dead. Our next watch is the Rolex stainless steel Darth Vader, the Daytona, with a black dial and black ceramic bezel. Unbelievable looking Daytona. Unbelievable looking Daytona. The reference number of that watch is the 116500. The retail price of that watch is $14,800. That's right. It's a 40 millimeter, unbelievable looking time machine. The Darth Vader. Oh, 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 look, look. Oh. That's right. And I'm going to tell you, gentlemen, I told you a couple of weeks ago, don't pay more than $24,000. And I'm going to tell you today, I'm going to tell you today, don't pay. And I mean, don't pay. You do whatever you want with your money, but don't pay more than $23,000. And drop him. That's right. Slider condition material. That's right. We're talking about slider condition used material watches here. 
That's what we're talking about. I'm not telling you to buy no watches. I'm just telling you what you should pay if you are gonna buy. That's right, don't be lollipop suckers. The secondary gray watch market is dead in a backyard pool floating face down like this. Let's go into my next watch, that's right. Our next watch is the Rolex Submariner. White gold with a blue dial and blue ceramic bezel. They call that the Smurf. Unbelievable, 40 millimeter. Unbelievable looking time machine, unbelievable. The reference number of that watch is the 116619. I repeat, the reference number of that watch is the 116619. The retail price of that watch is $39,650. Gentlemen, I'm gonna have to tell you, don't pay, and I mean don't pay more for that Smurf. We call that the Smurf. You do whatever you want. This is the Smurf. The secondary gray watch market is dead. Don't pay more, and I mean don't pay more than $31,500 and dumping, dump, dump, dumping. That's right. That's right. You do whatever you want. I'm telling you, gold material watches are dropping faster than Billy Boy's pants in an Arkansas farmhouse. That's right. Gold. You know, precious material watches are dropping faster than Billy Boy's pants in an Arkansas farmhouse. I'm going to tell you until I get tired of telling you. That's right. I already gave you the price. You do whatever you want now. The next watch, unbelievable, unbelievable Rolex Daytona. Unbelievable. So yellow gold with a green dial. They call that the, the guitar guy, you know, the rock and roll guy. Unbelievable, unbelievable watch, unbelievable. That watch went all the way up to $150,000, right? $150,000. Unbelievable. The reference number of that watch is the 116508. The retail price of that watch is $38,700. It's a 40 millimeter, that's right. And I'm gonna tell you, gentlemen, I told you a while ago, don't pay for that watch, $65,000 for that used slider condition material watch. And I'm gonna tell you today, don't pay, and I mean don't pay, you do whatever you want, but don't pay more for that Rolex Daytona guitar guy with the green dial, you know, with that green dial, don't pay, and I mean don't pay more than $63,000 and dumping, dump, dump, dumping. That's right, you heard that right, $63,000, that's right. You do whatever you want, but the secondary gray watch market is dead, 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 dead. Our next watch is the Rolex GMT stainless steel Sprite. Unbelievable looking watch. I mean, all these Rolex watches that I'm giving you today, today's about Rolex. All these Rolex watches are unbelievable. This is the stainless steel Sprite. Unbelievable. On an oyster band. Unbelievable looking watch. The reference number of that watch is the 126720. That's right. You know, and the retail price of that watch is $11,250. That's right. Gentlemen, I got to tell you, don't pay. And when I'm telling you don't pay, it's even dropping more than that. But I'm going to tell you today, don't pay more than $19,000 and dump, 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 dump. Because the secondary gray watch market is dead. Dead, 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 dead. It's critical. <gasps> critical. I'm telling you, the watch market is in fatality mode. That's right, fatality, fatality. You know, the, remember that the, the, the guy with the with the video game, you know, and they would fly and it was fatality. I'm telling you, it's fatality. Do whatever you want, but the secondary gray watch market is dead. Our next watch is the Rolex GMT two-tone root beer. I'm Unbelievable looking watch. The root beer is an unbelievable looking watch. The reference number of that watch is the 126711. The retail price of that watch is $16,150. At one moment, that watch was over $30,000. Oh, this is gross. Over $30,000. I love watches, but that was crazy. $30,000. And I told you a couple of weeks ago, don't pay for it more than $18,500. I'm gonna tell you today, don't pay, and I mean, you do whatever you want. You do whatever you want, but don't pay more than $17,500 and... Dropping, dropping, dropping. 
<gasps> the watch market is dead. Unbelievable but true. Our next watch, our next watch is a Rolex white gold Daytona with a blue dial. We call that watch the Captain America. Unbelievable, Captain America, unbelievable, beautiful blue dial. The reference number on that watch is the 116509. I repeat the reference number, 116509, with a retail price of $40,450. I told you a couple of weeks ago, don't pay more for that watch, more than $44,000. And I'm gonna tell you today the sad story. I'm gonna tell you, don't pay, and I mean don't pay don't pay more than $39,000 and drop me. That's right. The watch market is critical. There's a fatality in the secondary gray watch market. That's right. There's a fatality in the secondary gray watch market. So finish the watch market. Finish the watch market. Anyway, gentlemen, I really hope you enjoy my watch market update and you learn something from these prices so you can go out there and, you know, have it out with your favorite watch dealers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and like I say every week, take care and brush your hair. Good morning! Good morning, right, Bobby? Good morning.